tough game. <clears throat> Proud of our guys for playing hard and, and uh, just uh, thing sticks out to me is minus three and turnover margin. So turn, turn the ball over three times and not get any takeaways really was different in the game. So um, played good enough and well enough to win, but not in those areas. So that was really, that's what it comes down to in my opinion. So questions. Hey coach, I know you guys talk a lot about finishing there in the fourth quarter. You guys gave up some big plays on defense. I guess how disappointing was it to see, especially they bring their backup quarterback and you guys aren't able to get them off the field and they have a couple big runs. Yeah, kind of put away. You know, I think that last run, you know, it was third and long and, and uh, you know, they, they ran the football and, and, and we're, you know, kind of trying to stop some different things. And, and obviously, you know, if you have that call back, you'd like to have a different call maybe, but uh, uh, at the same time, you got to get them on the ground, you know, so it's still a run play. Um, and then he had the long quarterback run on another you know, short yard situation. So, which I thought that was just bad execution on our part. So, uh, yeah, that was disappointing to me. You, you put yourselves in a tough spot, but defense has to step up. So that, that's really, to me, was was just a frustrating thing without question. I guess going back to the turnovers and on the offensive side, Connor's got the, the two kind of, I guess, the first play of each half and then the one with Anderson. I mean, just did you feel like it was kind of reflective of maybe an offense that could find its rhythm at times tonight, but just, just could not find that, that, I guess, consistent groove? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first one was a tip ball, um, and then this, the second was a 50-50 ball. So, I mean, yeah, they were the first plays and gave them momentum right out of the start of each half, which is, which is tough. So, uh, and then obviously the final fumble was, uh, you know, fighting for yards, and we worked so hard on ball security every single day and, and to get a helmet on the ball. And, and uh, so it's just, yeah, it's just frustrating without question. But uh, um, you got to do a better job protecting the football, and, and uh, you know, it's just takeaways. Big deal on defense and protecting the ball is a huge deal on offense. Tom, you guys gave up 14 points in the first total of three minutes of the first and second half, which puts you in a huge hole, but yet mm. still in the game. What do you guys have to do, though, to stop making those mistakes and being able to to be in a position to win, even though I, you almost were today, but without those 14 points, it's a completely different ball game. Yeah, there's no question. Yeah, it's just so frustrating for me. Um, I haven't had this type of a pattern continue like this. It's just uh, a hard to put a finger on. You know, obviously we've changed so many different things practice-wise and trying to emphasize the, the strong starts and they've been, they've been big things that have given up points and and uh, um, yeah, just to me, we got to go back and continue to look at different ways to try and create. You know, like I said, uh, um, don't know that our guys are not ready to play. I mean, they've, they've played hard. Uh, they've been locked in. It's just, and that these, this one today just seemed kind of, you know, just not able to um, you know, come up with the a play on defense to get a stop and then you give the ball away, you know, right out of the gate. And it just kind of sets everything off to a negative tone. And, and you're right. I mean, outside of those two, it's, but they are part of the game, so you can't separate them. But it's just frustrating. There's no doubt. Tom, you've obviously talked a little bit about mistakes. I mean, there was one play, I think, where, you know, you guys had a, a stop, basically, and Monster gets called for the unsportsmanlike. Just what did you see there, basically? And what did, you know, I, I didn't get a great look at it, but what did you see him do? And what did you... You know, I just don't see that, that call being made in that situation. That's my opinion. So, I just don't see it. Hey, Tom, uh, second game now without Cam and Jalen. Just how do you think the defense is adapting to those losses and, and what areas do you need to see improvement from moving forward? Yeah, I mean, you know, you lose two elite players. It's hard, but uh, other guys are stepping up. You know, it's been, uh, um, yeah, it's made it more difficult without a question. But, uh, you know, Hopefully we get uh, Jalen back here who has a chance to come back sooner probably than Cam. So, but I uh, hope we'd get him back here soon. But yeah, we need those guys. There's no doubt about it. We need everybody. But, uh, um, you know, you had uh, Bradley Lanier got a huge sack right before half there, which is really huge for his confidence and his execution was tremendous on that play. And, and we worked hard on that. And, and uh, so uh, other guys are rising up and doing things. But obviously that hurts to lose to all Big Ten guys. And, and uh, Cam was playing at All-American level, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's, you don't just replace guys like that. Obviously, talk about what was a really good player that you have to prepare a lot for to be able to play. First off, I guess, what was your game plan going in against him? And when he went out, I guess, did you see it kind of change mentalities in, in your defense or the way they were going about anything against the backup? Well, you know, we were trying to prevent the explosive pass plays. You know, that's something he does really, really well. And he creates him with his legs as well as just in the, in the 
the uh, flow of the of the drop. Um, we had a hard time getting him on the ground. He's a really, really elusive guy and has been that way on film every single week. So, um, yeah, they're, they're a really good offense. They really are. We knew that going in and, and knew they were going to be challenging. Um, one of the best receiver cores in the country, without question. Um, and uh, that's uh, – when you got a talented quarterback like that with the combination, it makes it tough. So, yeah, I think when you get a new guy in there, uh, he played a little bit against Michigan. Actually came in that game and drove down and scored at the end of that game as well uh, against Michigan. A little bit, you know, similar style in terms of we didn't think they necessarily would change. Uh, but the quarterback runs were a little more downhill than they were, you know, making guys miss. So, But we still felt like we had, you know, uh, we just didn't execute, in my opinion, in, ter in terms of the call that was made for those situations where he broke free a little bit. But, but uh, um, yeah, I mean, that's what you, you know, guy goes down, another guy's got to step in and make play. So obviously a little bit different style, but, but similar enough to where we didn't think that they were going to change things. First game with Rod Carey leading the offensive line. What did you see from that unit up front? Well, I thought they played solid. You know, I don't I haven't watched the film, but uh, uh, I saw some improvement without question. I thought we had a very big physical defensive line that has pressured uh, people, and uh, I thought they held up better in, in the pass protections and did some things to help them as well. But, but uh, uh, yeah, definitely a positive step in the right direction with that group. No question about it. Coach, we've kind of talked over the, over the season as the games have progressed about the tackling it continuing to be an issue. Another another struggle today. What was kind of kind of just what what wasn't clicking on defense today with the tackling? Yeah, I thought that uh, um, especially early on. I mean, we had guys several times where we had guys right there in the right position to make those plays, um, and they got to finish them. You know, and whether it's uh, some of our corners trying to tackle their big backs, and both of their backs are big and physical, and uh, that can be a physical mismatch in some ways. But you still got to play with technique, and, and so, um, and we've worked extremely hard the last couple of weeks on it. Uh, saw some improvement last week. Uh, disappointed with today's. I mean, they have a lot of good athletes. I think when you have the more elite athletes, sometimes that makes it harder. You know. Uh, to tackle those guys because they're going to make you miss as well as as the combination of power and quickness what makes it tough but but I mean just continue to work on it I mean that's not going to change and and uh, yeah disappointed in that for sure I'm out there several players there was a third down earlier in the game where we had the guy you know, two or three yards behind the line and didn't didn't get him on the ground so and a couple of them are you know more of our older guys that we count on to do that so uh, just never going to cease to emphasize takeaways and tackling. We're not getting enough takeaways and, and we didn't tackle good enough tonight. So that's, to me, that's a disappointing part for our defense. Coach, uh, you guys were up by three when uh, Tagovailo went out. I, I know you mentioned that you guys, you just felt like you didn't execute that last stretch. And I guess without having watched film, like what specifically did you see go wrong? Uh, well, there's a couple, you know, the quarterback runs, like I said, that uh, one in particular, the, 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 to me, that the key one was the, you know, the third and long, you know, where we had a chance to get off the field and we didn't. And they, they ran the football. And we had a, you know, a pass pressure called and they ran it. And so uh, just kind of, you know, sometimes you're trying to decide what they're going to do. And if you have a run call in and you're going to give them too much time against these talented receivers and you give, you don't get any pressure on the quarterback. So it's kind of a, you know, it's just part of it. You got to make decisions. And, you know, I, I just, you know, I wish we could have that call back without question. But, uh, you know, to me, it's just about having just a finishing mindset, finishing mentality. And uh, we had ourselves in a position to do that, and we didn't do it. So that's what makes us really, really disappointing. All right, thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Elio.